you know a little bit more about me than the fact that you think I'm 20 quarters old, but I'm really not, as you can tell. <laughs> and then we'll get started. And before we get started, I just wanted to point out something that I thought was amazing that the folks from Dispute Suit were able to figure out. What were the, what's the likelihood they were able to find three different guys named John Alzheimer <laughs> to come present to you today? I just, I, that's amazing to me. They're, believe it or not, they're actually, I'm from Atlanta, there are actually three John Alzheimer's that live, that live in Atlanta. Yours truly, um, a guy who works for Delta Airlines, and a guy who's a college student up at Kennesaw State, which is a little bit north of Atlanta. And how do I know this? I know this because some of the information that belongs to the John Alzheimer that works for Delta Airlines ended up on the credit report of the John Alzheimer that stands in front of you. So I speak from experience today. No, it's, it's actually, it's all good. He's actually a really nice guy. I like going up to him at the airport when I see him and ask him, hey, where's my, where's my gate? Where do I need to go and kind of freak him out a little bit? I'm actually not 24 years old. I'm 48 years old. He got it half right. Um, I am what's commonly referred to as an indentured servant to the credit world. I don't know anything else. Everything that I've done post-college has involved consumer credit. I spent six years at Equifax, and if you don't know who Equifax is or what Equifax is, then you're at the wrong event. <laughs> and I spent seven years after Equifax working for a company called FICO, and if you don't know what FICO is, you're at the wrong event. <laughs> and then when I left FICO, I started to do my own thing, and I started doing concurrent work for a variety of credit-related companies, credit.com, Credit Sesame, Smart Credit. I write a lot of articles. If you Google my name, you'll find thousands of articles that I've either written or been quoted in, all on the topic of consumer credit. So I don't know anything else. If our world ceased to have a consumer credit component, I don't know what I would do for a living, frankly, because I don't know anything else. And the reason the good people from Dispute Suite, who I love dearly, I'm very fond of, invite me to come speak to you is because now, because I don't work for anybody, I work for John Alzheimer, the second one on the list, <laughs> is I'm not beholden to any of them. Because when you work for a big company like an Equifax or a FICO or an IBM or a Microsoft, and you're out speaking in an event like this, you better not say the wrong thing, right? And when you're talking to a reporter from the Wall Street Journal or the New York Times, or if you're sitting there, they're doing an interview with CNN, representing some company, you better not say the wrong thing. Or one of two things happen. A, you get fired, or B, you never get to do that again, because they realize they screwed up. So the beauty of this iteration of John Alzheimer is that I'm not really beholden to any of them. So I can speak freely about things like credit reporting, credit scoring, the laws that govern our industry, the standards, the language that credit reporting is all done in, without having to worry about pissing off someone or the other. Which is great, because then you and I get to have a legitimate, kind of over a beer type of discussion for the next couple of days rather than me sitting up here spewing the company line to you, which is enormously boring and, and probably even less helpful. So what I'm going to do, and by the way, you're going to see a lot of me over the next couple of days. I think I'm on the schedule six times today, collectively, today and tomorrow. So if we don't get your question answered today, you have three chances to ask it tomorrow, okay? So what does that mean for you? What it means for you is that you should not hop on your airplane Sunday afternoon wishing that you had asked a question and you're still really, really curious as to the answers of, about, to that question. That's not going to be my fault. That's going to be your fault. Okay? So if you're wondering about something, ask it. I'll do my best to answer it. But here's where I have to draw the line. I am not a credit repair company. John doesn't do credit repair. I don't own a credit repair organization. In Georgia, where I live, a for-profit credit repair is a misdemeanor. It is illegal. And because of other business-related issues, I choose not to do credit repair. So if you have questions about credit repair tactics and how to get things deleted and how to run a better, more efficient, more profitable credit repair organization, there are a whole lot of people here who can answer those questions. I'm just not one of them. 
okay? But as it comes, or as it pertains to credit reporting and credit scoring, I'm your Huckleberry, okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> so let's get started. I have, and I'm, I've also been told, under penalty of um, axe murder, that if I go over my time,